the current projections say that by 2040 and perhaps even sooner, there's going to be no summer sea ice in the Arctic. And that should worry everyone because what happens in the Arctic uh, in terms of climate and weather doesn't stay in the Arctic. It affects everyone. It affects global weather patterns. I want you to listen to the cracking sound. What the film's trying to do is really focus in on this one area between Greenland and Canada where the last ice is projected to be in the summer months and uh, contextualize what it looks like now and what it's going to look like in the coming decades. My dream is for us to reach the same level of self-determination the day before an outsider came into our homeland. <laughs> Talk to us about the Inuit community and why they are so concerned about what's happening to our world today and what this means for their livelihoods. One of the reasons this affects them so directly is because they live directly with the ice. You can't grow crops there easily. Uh, you can't raise livestock. Even today in 2020, bringing in goods is prohibitively expensive. You have to fly everything in. Uh, you can only ship in goods at certain times of the year because of the ice. The old hunting grounds, like where they used to hunt. The whole food chain is affected right up to the top. There are seasoned hunters who are now falling through the ice, some dying. Uh, there are hunters who can't uh, pass along the same knowledge to the next generation that they have for, for generations before because everything's changing so rapidly. We put our elders at such a high level because they are our knowledge keepers, they are our guidance. How do we raise awareness, especially among the youth? Uh, and, it's, and I'm thinking about Africa, where perhaps Africa might feel, okay, we're not in the developed world, we're developing, and so we're fine. When uh, countries are putting out lots and lots of um, carbon and methane and all these things that are going to affect uh, what happens in the Arctic, it's going to come back and affect everywhere. It's going to affect Europe. It's going to affect Africa. It's going to affect the Americas. I don't think you're probably going to convince uh, one side or the other. Um, but with this film, we're really just kind of putting all of that aside. And this is a very specific story about two young people uh, trying to figure out what their world's going to look like. And the ice there is melting. Um, you can have different theories about why, but the fact is that it is melting. That's absolutely undeniable. Everything is changing. The impact is really one of day-to-day um, -day life being disrupted and an uncertain future. You see all the, the homes that have just burned out in the West. There's going to be more hurricanes and extreme weather. Um, and so it's really a matter of recognizing in Inuit our future, our collective future, uh, and deciding to do something bold about it.